I'm going to show you how to repair a single handle kitchen faucet that leaks at the base from the cap area or drips from the spout. If your faucet's leaking from the base right here or even right here and dripping down, you need to replace the O-rings around this faucet body. If it's leaking from this cap area, the front, the back, the sides, so under this handle, you need to replace the cam, the cam washer, and maybe the ball valve. Usually not, but sometimes you need to if it's been damaged or it's pitted. And while you're in there, you want to replace your seats and springs. If your faucet is dripping from the spout, you need to replace your seats and springs. I'll show you all those parts and how to replace them. Before you start working on the faucet, turn off your shutoff valves. If you turn the valves off and water still comes through the spout of the faucet, you'll need to turn off the main water supply to your home. After you've turned off the shutoff valves, open the faucet, both cold and hot. You want to make sure you put a towel at the drain so that if you drop any of the parts, they won't go down the drain. Push the handle back and remove this cap. There's a set screw in that handle that you need to remove. To remove the set screw in my handle, I have to use a Phillips screwdriver. Your set screw may require an Allen wrench to remove it. I don't remove the set screw. I just back it out a little bit to remove the handle and leave the set screw in so I don't lose it. That part is the retaining nut. I use this tool to remove that retaining nut. It'll come with the kit you buy to repair your faucet. There is one thing I want to mention. If your leak is coming from the cap and coming down, before you disassemble the entire faucet, tighten the retainer nut and see if it stops the leak, because that may do it. This is how that tool works. Now I'm going to place a towel around that faucet base, because I'm going to remove the cap. This is called the cap, and water likely will come out. There you go. So now you remove the cam. That's the cam. And what's coming with the cam is the cam washer. This is the ball valve to the faucet. Now I'm going to wick out some of that water. Now remove the spout. Wiggle it back and forth until it comes off. These are O-rings on the faucet body and we're going to remove those now. Remove the bottom O-ring first, so that as you're rolling it up to remove it from the body, it doesn't fall into the grooves of the top O-ring. You can use a small screwdriver to get in behind that O-ring. I'm using a small pick tool that I have. Now the top one. Now we're going to remove what are called the seats and springs. Use a small screwdriver or a tool like this to remove the seats and springs. That's the seat, that's the spring. Now I'm putting on the new O-rings. Top one first. Now the bottom one. I use Odie silicone grease. Put a little bit on my finger and put it around these O-rings. 
so that when the spout rotates, it rotates smoothly. I'm going to use some of that Odie silicone grease to put on the inside of this spout body. Now put the spout on. I'm going to use a little bit of silicone grease in this area too. The spring is cone shaped and goes into the seat. Now it's time to put the seats and springs in. Put them on the screwdriver and ease them in. You'll feel when they seat. I'm putting silicone grease on this ball too. Now the ball goes in. There's a protrusion right there on that faucet body. That slot needs to align with that protrusion. So tip the ball to the right, push it down, and make sure that that protrusion is resting in that slot. And you'll feel the tension. Going to put a little bit of silicone grease on this cam washer too, just right there. Now I'm putting the cam washer and the cam on. This protrusion on the cam right there needs to rest in this cutout on the faucet body. A little bit more silicone grease on the inside of this cap before I screw it on and on the threads where the retainer nut will screw into. I apply the silicone grease to the various parts for two reasons. One, it makes for a smoother rotation of the spout and of the parts inside the faucet body. And the second reason is that hard water can't set up if you have the silicone grease on these parts. We're gonna put the cap on now. You want to push the cam down put the cap on hand tight. Now the retainer nut goes on. You want to make sure the retainer nut is snug. Now we're going to put the handle back on. If you remove the set screw from the handle when you took it off, I recommend putting the set screw back in, partially screwing it in because it makes it easier to screw that set screw in once the handle's on. Screw in the set screw. Replace the cap. So turn on your faucet and check it. We don't have any leaks. And that's how you repair a single handle kitchen faucet that leaks at the base, the cap area, or drips from the spout. Hope it helps and happy DIYing.